Assalamualaikum. This is the discussion of set B for revision of test 1. Let's begin. Question 1 A. Simplify x plus 2 square minus x square minus 4x plus 5. Okay, we will first expand x plus 2 square, which is x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 2. x multiplied by x, x square, x multiplied by 2, plus 2x. 2 multiplied by x, 2x. 2 multiplied by 2, plus 4. Okay, and then for this part, Multiply minus by each of the term inside the bracket. Minus x square. Minus and minus. So positive 4x. Negative positive. Negative 5. Now let's simplify. x square minus x square 0. 2x plus 2x 4x. 4x plus 4x, 8x. And then, minus, uh, plus 4, minus 5, minus 1. Final answer, 8x minus 1. Question 1b. Find the values of x if x square plus 4x minus 96 equal 0. So, to find x, we can do factorization. The okay, first method, you can factorize by using calculator. Okay, if using calculator, we should compare this quadratic equation with the general form. ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So, a is 1. b, 4. And C, negative 96 equal. So, we get X minus 8. X plus 12 equal 0. Which gives us the values of when X minus 8 equal 0. X equal 8. X plus 12 equal 0. So, X equal negative 12. Or, we can also use quadratic formula. The quadratic formula, x equal negative b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, earlier, we discussed the value for a is 1, b, 4, c negative 96. Substitute, negative 4. Plus minus square root. 4 square minus 4 EC. Over 2 multiply by E. Okay, let's simplify. Negative 4 plus minus square root. Okay, let's, cal let's calculate the value inside the square root. 4 square, 16, minus 4, multiply by negative 96, and we get 400 over 2. x1 equal negative 4 plus square root of 400 is 20 over 2. Negative 4 plus 20. T is 16. 16 divided by 2 equal 8. So, x1 equal 8. And then, the second value for x, negative 4 minus 20. Okay, square root 400 is 20 over 2. Negative 24 divided by 2, the answer is negative 12. So, regardless which method we use, 
factorization or quadratic formula, we still manage to get the same answer. Question 1, C, simultaneous equation. So again, for simultaneous equation, there are two methods that we can apply. Either we apply substitution method, penggantian, or the second method is elimination method. Uh, penghapusan. Okay, substitution, penggantian, or elimination, penghapusan. The first equation for x plus 3y equal 14. We name this as equation 1. Second equation. Okay, let's rearrange the position. First equation, we have x, y and constant. Second equation, y, x, constant. So, we arrange 5x plus 7y equal negative 11. And let's name this as equation 2. Okay. The coefficient for x are 4 and 5. The coefficient for y are 3 and 7. So, we have to multiply equation 1 by 5 and multiply equation 2 by 4. Okay, because I choose to eliminate uh, variable x. If you choose to eliminate variable y, then you have to change equation y. Equation 1 multiply 7. Equation 2 multiply 3. Okay, but I want to eliminate variable x. So, equation 1 multiply 5. And equation 2 multiply 4. Let's, uh, x, let's multiply. Okay, let's find the new equation. First equation multiply 5. 20x plus 15y equal 14 multiply 5. We get 70. And then second equation multiply by 4. 20x plus 28y equal negative 14. So, now we have the same coefficient for variable x. We can eliminate variable x by uh, subtraction. 20x minus 20x, we get 0. 15y minus 28y, we get negative 13y equal. 70 minus negative 44, we get 114. Y equal 114 divided by negative 13. Mm, okay, there might be some mistake here. Let's check our solution. 4x plus 3y equal 14. 5x plus 7y equal negative 11. Okay, because we move positive 11 to the other side. Negative. Equation 1 multiply by 5. Equation 2 multiply by 4. Okay. 4 darat 5, 20. 3 darat 5, 15. 14 darat 5, 70. Okay, betul. Second equation multiply by 4. 5 multiply 4, 20. 7 multiply 4, 28. 11 multiply 4 is 44. Okay, 20 minus 20, 0. 15 minus 28, negative 13. 70 minus negative 44 is 114. So, I still get the same answer. y equal negative 114 over 13. Okay, let me check this later. Let's solve question 1d. Given s equal p 1 plus r t. Express T in terms of SP 
P and R. So, P in terms of S, P, R. Mm. Okay, first let's move P. So, the relationship between P and this bracket is multiplication. So, when we move P to the other side, it is divide. 1 plus RT. Next, we want to move 1. So, S over P. Here, positive. Bring to that side. Minus 1 equal RT. And we want to leave T here. The relationship between R and T is multiplication. So, when we bring to the other side, it is divide. Okay, we can simplify T equal S minus P over P R. Question 2A. Given the formula, find the value of I if R equal 0.05, M equal 12, B equal 10,000, 108,000, and N equal 84. Okay, let's substitute. First, write down the formula. Okay, always write down the formula. Okay, now substitute R 0.05 equal to our M is 12. I is the value that we want to find over B, 108, 000, 000, and plus 1. So, 84 plus 1. Let's simplify. 0 0.05 equal to multiply 12 is 24I over 108,000 multiplied by 85. 9, 1, 8, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, multiply by 0 0.05. We get 4, 5, 9, 0, 0, 0, divided by 24 to get I. And final answer, I equal 1, 9, 1, 2, which is the correct answer. Question 2b. Given the function, so we have a function fx equal x square minus x minus 5. Okay, we want to find the value for f negative 1. f negative 1. Okay, replace every x by negative 1. Negative 1 square minus negative 1 minus 5. Negative 1 square is 1. Minus minus plus 1 minus 5. 2 minus 5 equal negative 3. B2. The value of x if fx equal negative 3. Okay, substitute fx. Our fx is x square minus x minus 5 equal negative 3. x square x minus x minus 5 plus 3 equal 0. x square minus x minus 2 equal 0. Okay, you can factorize using calculator or you can do it manually. So we get x equal negative 1 and x equal 2. Okay, correct answer. Question 2c. Simplify the expression x cubed y squared z power 4 minus x power 4 y cubed z square over x power 3 y z square
Okay, let's find similarities between uh, term at the front of the, the minus sign and term at the back of the minus sign. So first we have x cubed, x power 4. So the similarity is x cubed. y square, y3, the similarity is y square. z power 4, z square. So z square. Okay. x cubed. Then y square, then here z power 4, z square, z square minus x power 4, x cube. So we have one more x, y cube, y square, we have one more y, z square, z square. So no more z over x cube, y, z square. We can cancel x cube, okay, y. And z square, which gives us final answer of uh, we have one more y here, y multiply by z square minus xy. Question 2d Evaluate 1 over 32 square. Multiply by 16 power 3 divided by 2 power 3. So first, let's change 32 and 16 into base number of 2. Okay, 32. 32 is 2 power 5. 1 over 2 power 5 square multiplied by 16 is 2 power 4. 2 power 4 put in bracket. Power 3 outside bracket divided by 2 power 3. Okay, and then we can bring 2 power 5 up. Become 2 power, 2 power negative 5. Mm, sorry. Okay, let's simplify this. 2 power 4 power 3. Multiply the power. We get 2 power 12. Divided by 2 power 3. Okay, 2. Negative 5 multiplied by 2, negative 10. Okay, multiply. When the relationship is multiplied, we will plus the power. Plus 12 here. Divide. So, minus 3. Simplify. Negative 10. Plus 12. Minus 3. Negative 1. 2 power negative 1 or 1 over 2. So, again, we get a different answer. So, let's check again. 1 over 32. 32 is 2 power 5, correct. 16 is 2 power 4, correct. And then bring 2 power 5 up. 2 power negative 5. Negative 5 multiplied by 2. Negative 10, correct? 2 power 4 multiplied by 3. 4 multiplied by 3 is 12. Okay, multiply. So plus 12, correct? Divide minus 3. Negative 10 plus 12 minus 3. Okay. 2 power negative 1. 2 power negative 1 is 1 over 2. Okay, this is the correct answer. And this is not. Okay, last question. Question 3a. Find the value of m if 2 power m minus 2 multiply by 16 power m equal to 5, 6. So, let's change 16 and 256 into number of base 2. 16 is 2 power 4. And 256 is 2 power... Um, let's check. Try and error. I also do it. Try and error. 256 is 2 power 8. Okay, 2 power m minus 2 
multiply so plus 4 multiplied by m for m equal to power 8 oh, sorry 2 power 8 okay, cancel the base m minus 2 plus 4 m equal 8 4 m plus m equal 8 plus 2 Okay, move 2. 5m equal 10m equal 10 divided by 5 and we get m equal 2. Question 3b. Log a plus log a square b minus 2 log a B as, as expressed as a single logarithmic expression. Okay, log A when plus we multiply A square B when minus we divide. Okay, bring to here. So let's simplify this first. Two log A B. Okay, bring two back. It is a b square or log a square b square. So because minus divide a square b square. Simplify, we can cancel a square and we can cancel b. So what's left is a over b. Okay, which is the correct answer. C, find the value of x. If log 5 plus log x plus 5 equal 1 plus log x minus 1. Okay. Multipli uh, plus multiplication log 5 multiplied by x plus 5. And then 1 change into log. 10 power 1 k okay, plus multiply by x minus 1 so 5 multiply by x 5x 5, 5 multiply by 5 25 equal 10 multiply by x 10x 10 multiply by negative 1 negative 10 5x minus 10x equal negative 10 minus 25. Negative 5x equal negative 35. x equal negative 35 divided by negative 5. x equal 7. And the last question, question 3d. Find the value of n if 64 equal 40 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.05 power n. Okay, first, move 40. Okay, the relationship here is multiplication. When we bring to the other side, it becomes divide. Okay, 64 divided by 40, 1.6 or 8 over 5. Okay, solve 1 plus 0 0.05, 1 point, 1 plus 0 0.05 is 1.05. Okay, power and bring to the other side. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, we will not do it like this. Okay. Let's lock both sides. Lock. 64 over 40 equal lock. 1 plus 0 0.05 power n. Okay. Why we lock both sides? So that we can bring n to the front. Lock. 64 over 40 equal n log. Okay, 1 plus 0 0.05, 1.05. And then to find n equal 
log 64 over 40 divided by log 1.05. Okay, let's calculate. Here, make sure to use the divide sign. Okay, do not use per because you might get a different answer. So, log 64 over 40 divided by log 1.05. And we get final answer 9.633. 1635, 1.3. Okay, I just took uh, 3 or 4. Okay, we can took 4. 9.6332. Okay, that's the final answer. So this is the last question 3D. Uh, 3C, we get the answer. 3B, we get the answer. 3A also okay. 2D, okay, 2D. Uh, we have checked the solution. So, 1 over 2 is the correct answer. C okay. B also okay. okay A okay. 1D, okay, 1D. Okay, 1C. Okay, 1C. Earlier we have checked the question. I think that there must be some kind of typo over here. 5X plus 7Y equal negative 11. Okay, because we have checked. So, you can just ignore question C. Okay, you don't have to solve this. Question B, okay. And question 1A. Also okay. So that's it for set B. I wish you all the best for tomorrow's test.